kindly please address the gathering. Namaskaram. Honorable Minister K. T. Ramaragaru, Members of Parliament, Members of the Legislative Assembly, Sri Ratan Tata, Ambassador Jester, and all dignitaries on the dais, and the Boeing Tata. this wonderful state-of-the-art ventures, employees who are all before me, the media, and all the invited dignitaries. It actually gives me great pleasure to be here to see something which has come to fruition within this short duration of time. Sri Ratan Tata could have had a vision 10 years ago, but he and his Tata family have had a parallel growth with India. So I can see them having mileposts of vision since the time they, they've been established almost a century, over a century ago. So that trend con continues and it is very like him to have that kind of a vision to see what he wants to do for the next 10, 20, 30 years. So if he had a vision 10 years ago, it's very consistent with the vision with which Tatas have grown in this country, as much as the trajectory of growth that India has had since 1947 and probably even before that. Indian economy has always been something which is very vibrant and responded to a lot of changing political economic situations and post-independence it's had its own course. But Tatas have always aligned themselves with that course of Indian economy, which has been moving from different political economic situation, but kept the core business of growing along with India, growing for India and making India's growth possible, a, a core value of the unit. And th there I must uh, put on record my appreciation for the vision with which Tata aligns itself to be a part of the global value chain in this kind of a high-end technology based industry and therefore thank you very much Mr. Tata for keeping this dream alive of the Tatas themselves. <laughs> After 2014 May, there's been a great push for getting manufacturing back into India and when the Prime Minister from the ramparts of Red Fort did speak about Make in India and subsequently gave it a shape in September 2014. It was essentially to get back India on the path of reviving manufacturing, getting world manufacturers to come back to India and see us as a good manufacturing center. And in that, defense manufacturing was also something for which a lot of thought was given. Now, post that, within a year after that, uh, within a year or slightly more after that, you had my senior predecessor, now Chief Minister of Goa, Manohar Parikar, come and do the uh, round-breaking ceremony here. And post-2016, when that happened, to today, early 18, within one and a half years, for an international class facility to be seeing the light of the day and committing itself to complete the project well in time, well before the deadline, and start delivering the product well before the deadline just shows what missionary zeal with which this whole project has moved. Hats off to the entire team of Boeing and uh, Tatas. And I was so happy, and it made me feel extremely proud to hear that people who have been trained and who make the human element of this entire manufacturing unit have all been locally sourced and uh, very dramatically 
it was explained to me that many of them wouldn't have even seen an aircraft but such people have come today to be trained here and they are the ones who are adding to the value chain by producing so mana telangana yuvakulu andarku chaala dhanyavaadalu meer inta chakkaga ఇంత చక్కగా మీరు ఎక్కడ నుంచి తెలంగాణ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వచ్చినా కూడా ఇంత త్వరగా ట్రైనింగ్ పొంది ఇవాళ ఒక ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టాండర్డ్లో ఉన్నటువంటి ఒక ప్రోడక్ట్ చిన్న ప్రోడక్ట్ కాదు ఒక హెలికాప్టర్ తయారు చేయడానికి మీ వంతు మీరు కృషి చేస్తున్నారంటే చాలా గర్వంగా ఉంది నాకు సో దిస్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ఇన్ గ్లోబల్ అరీనా when we are talking about technology industrial revolution 4.0 talking of automation talking of bringing in robotics into precision manufacturing if after this intensely human component the auditors from the us have mentioned that it is zero defect that is the product which is coming from here is the zero defect and which you attribute normally only to robotics or automation is achievable even with a high degree of human element so that shows that even in this day and age when the trend is moving toward automation where possible if human element is kept intact and we don't blindly get into automation you are still able to achieve the zero defect that we so desire for this sector so all in all we have a very happy story of well in time delivering a project which has been promised a global partnership manufacturing in india giving defense industry a push and the prime minister's dream it is to see india as a defense product exporter not just manufacturing for our consumption not just because we have a big uh, wish list of things that we want to buy in defense but to see manufacturing and exporting from here and in an industry like this the precision is the final word it's just so gratifying to see a vision a dream a government the prime minister all gelling together in an internationally acclaimed uh, processing and manufacturing unit so thanks to the entire team thanks to the state government and also thanks to all those young people who look up to being here working and contributing to this wonderful uh, you know product which i think sets the pace for make in india in a big way so thank you thanks very much to all of you jai hind thank you very much ma'am i would like to thank the esteemed dignitaries for gracing this event i would also like to thank the media officials from the government teams from boeing tata suppliers and our partners and everyone for making this event a grand success i would now request the dignitaries to please follow the volunteers on your right 